Hello there. So this is part two, the second video on how to say no. If you haven't watched the first video, I recommend that you go and watch that first, because in that video, I'm talking about the bigger picture of saying no, some of the reasons why we can't say no, and actually how to shift your perspective so that it makes it much easier to put the tools and tips that I'm going to mention in this video into practice. So if you haven't watched it, there's a link below. I recommend you go and have a quick look at that first and then pop back over here. There's a link in that one to come back here as well. And then you can watch this and it'll make it easier for you to kind of flow better for you. So the first tip is when you're going to say your no, when you're thinking about it in your mind and when you actually say it to somebody, I want you to think about your why. Why is it important? to say no to this. It's about the positive. So for example, I'm saying no because I would like to have more time on that day because I need time to do something for yourself. Or I'm saying no because I'm practicing self-care and I'm looking after my energy levels. I'm saying no because I need that money for something that I'd like to spend on for myself. So it's about the positives of saying no. When you actually say that to a person, be clear, be concise, say it once. There's no need to go into long descriptions of things because your message will get lost if you do that. It's just, uh, no, I can't because I want to gain this whatever the thing is full stop so that's the first tip think about your why get very focused on your why from a positive viewpoint what you will gain from saying this no and do remember that whether it's time or it's money or it's energy or whatever the thing is that you will gain it's okay for you to ask for that this is your life Another tip is the power of the delay. You know, quite often people will ask us something and we kind of, we feel a bit on the spot. Have you ever had that experience? You think, oh gosh, uh, um, uh, oh yes, okay. And we don't give ourselves time to think about it. It's a really good idea to come up with a couple of phrases that you can have like stock phrases in your mind that will help you to delay an answer. So for example, like, oh, I'm not sure I need to go and look at my calendar or my diary. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing that day. I'll, I'll come back to you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Can I think about it? And I'll let you know by. It's always helpful to people to say, I'll let you know by tomorrow afternoon or something because that gives you a boundary and it gives that person a boundary and it's a, a better feeling rather than leaving things hanging in the air. So if you find it hard to actually say no in the moment, just get into the habit of practicing this delay tactic and that will give you time to go off, to think about it, to decide, to come back to the person and have some clear ideas of what you want to say to them. Another no tip is to practice it in small steps. You know, I'm a great believer in just tuning our mind up, you know, rewiring our neural pathways to have patterns of thoughts. And if we often find it hard to say no, we have an idea in our head, I can't say no, I find it difficult to say no. So say no in small steps. Say no to people who it's easy to say no to. Say no to small things. And by doing that, you are training your mind to recognize that saying no is a kind of a normal thing to do. It's an easier thing to do. It's an okay thing to do. So practice those small no's. Another really handy no is a time frame no. It's kind of a yes and it's kind of a no. And that is, if somebody says to you, could you could you do this thing for me? Could you help me with this thing? Maybe say, well, I can't today, 
but I know for a fact that I'm free on Thursday or next Sunday, I, I can do it then. At a time when you won't feel so pressured, or you won't be trying to squeeze that in with that person, maybe feeling a bit resentful and stressed by it. Actually just being able to say, I will, I will give, I am saying yes, but it's a yes within what works for me, particularly to do with my time and energy. And that way you're not rejecting the person. You, you are saying no, but you're not saying no. And everybody wins. And of course, another way to get good at saying no is to rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. When you want to say no to somebody, have a phrase or some phrases in your mind that you have thought about, maybe write them down. And I don't mean type, type if you have to, but if you can do it with pen and paper, it's so much better because that really does help to train the mind. So write down the phrases that you want to say for your no. For example, on this occasion, I can't do that for you. Uh, I'm unable to do that because I'm not in a position to. Have some phrases that you can that you can rehearse and say over and over and over and over in your mind until you're so used to them that when a person sort of puts you on the spot, it's very easy to say it to them because you've rehearsed it just like an actor going on the stage. They don't have to stop and think, what is my line? They know their line, they've learned their lines, and so they can do them automatically. So rehearse, rehearse, and rehearse. Another really handy say no technique is to say, I can't, who could? So if you don't want to, or you can't, and you want to say no, you can say, no, I, I don't have the time to do that, or I don't feel able to do that, or I don't have the skills to do that. I don't have the energy to do that, or maybe I don't have the money to do that. But then you can say, but who could? Do you know anybody who could help you with this? Is there another person who may be able to lend you the money, give you the time, help you with that thing? And so what you're doing is you're kind of encouraging this other person to think themselves about maybe asking other people instead of always asking you. And of course, coming back to our tip on I can't, who can, what's related to that is I can't, how can you? If you've read any of my books or you've listened to my podcasts, you know that I quite often talk about the difference between rescuing and supporting. When we say, I can't, no, how can you? What we're doing is we're saying, I'm not going to rescue you, but I am going to support you. I'm going to help you to help yourself. So again, it's a kind of a no with a little yes in it. And it comes back to what I was saying in the first video about conscious kindness and misguided kindness. It's all about empowering you and empowering the other person so that we can all learn and grow and evolve and actually have much more authentic and much happier relationships. So if you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button. That way more people get to see it and they get helped. You're helping me to help them. Don't forget to subscribe because that way you'll know when new videos are up. And I'd love to see your comments and your thoughts on this video and these tips and maybe any others that you'd like to share with people here. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.